Will with Fox 7 Austin with a local Fox station here. Yeah. Yeah, well, welcome to the ATX TV Fest. Are you excited to be here? I live here. I'm a local. Oh my gosh, she's a local, everybody. I, am. I live here and I am so proud and excited to be here as an actual featured panelist. So. Yeah, so tell me more about the panel that you're on. Tell me tell me all about it. Okay, so actually I am Christy Carlson Romano. I'm mm. sort of like a host now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Used to work with Disney a lot, yeah. but what's awesome is that my podcast company, Podco, mm -hmm. is literally repping with all of my hosts. They're coming in from LA mm -hmm. and we're hosting them. And we're gonna do panels with all of them. Oh my gosh! And so I'm just so I'm just so proud of what I've been able to create while I've lived here in Austin, mm. and I have so much support. And I feel like that this festival is truly just such a grassroots thing for us. Mm. I mean, we've created this podcast company here, mm -hmm. and now it's like we're bringing it home and celebrating it. Yeah, and because uh, Austin kind of has a, it's definitely grown in terms of the podcasting scene. Joe Rogan's here, obviously. Y'all are yeah. here. Yeah, Jamie um, Diaz too. Yeah, Jamie Diaz yeah. here too. Uh, tell me. Where, where do you see the future of podcasting now that's a lot of it's based in Austin? Where do you see the future of it going? Oh, what a great question. Um, podcasting is a, a tremendously popular <laughs> medium. <laughs> I had no idea. I was really doing a lot of YouTube mm. and a lot of sort of fan outreach that way. Mm. I think what's amazing about podcasts is that people are feeling like they have genuine conversations that they're listening in on with people that they admire and they respect and they can learn something from their points of view. So I think that as a person who's trying to develop and create those types of you know, formats, mm. it, it makes me very proud of the content that I'm doing. That's so awesome. And I, in, in terms of, I guess, the future of podcasting, the future of, I guess, TV as well, because you, you have a background in TV as well. Wh where do you, what's, what do you see the future of, of TV and podcasting being, I guess, going forward? Well, right now, I think that we're at a very interesting crossroads with TV, mm -hmm. with everything going on with the WGA strike mm -hmm. and AI. Um, I think that people are looking for authenticity mm -hmm. and realness and true connection. So I'm all about supporting the kind of podcasts that reveal the truth, mm. that talk about, you know, what it really means to live an interesting life, yeah. I guess. I don't know, a complicated, sometimes traumatic mm. life. Um, I have a Vulnerable, which is the podcast that I generally mm. take um, a lot of my guests on. Mm. But all these other podcasts are nostalgic, rewatch podcasts, and podcast hosts that you, mm. you know, know and love, like the Lawrence Brothers and stuff, so. That's so oh, And I also have like a really big announcement because oh. during our panel on Saturday, we're going to make a very big announcement about a new podcast. Oh. And we have a special guest. Oh, any, any hints, teasers? No, not yet. <laughs> Gosh, I guess uh, it's a she? <laughs> it's a she. It's a she, everybody. It's a she. <laughs> Okay, that's, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one, I guess. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. I love the ensemble. The dress oh, is gorgeous. Oh, wait, here. High five as well. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I, the ensemble's gorgeous. And thank you. I, this is a stilo, by the way. Oh, I love it. I have friends here locally, mm -hmm. and I want to shout them out because they've done a great job of having me do a bunch of different fun, colorful outfits. Well, it's very colorful. It's giving spring, summer, fall, and winter all in one beautiful ensemble. <laughs> awesome. Have fun. Yeah, have you fun too. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll yeah, yes, I'd love to see.